Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at SC12 in Salt Lake City, and we are here at the Colfax International booth. I'm here with Mike Fay. Mike, let's just get situated here. Who is Colfax, and who do you help? Colfax International, we're a solutions provider, value-added reseller. We're located in Sunnyvale, California, about an hour south of San Francisco, and we're here in beautiful Salt Lake City. Uh, gonna hear and here to show you quite a bit of uh, new technology. Awesome, okay, so I was just gonna ask you, what do you got going here at SC12 this week? Well, for those who don't know about the new uh, Intel coprocessors, also known as the Xeon Phi coprocessors, we're here to show you them. We brought some platforms uh, with us, and these Phi's are uh, clearly uh, integrated in the platforms, and you're gonna see, it, see and hear a lot about them, as well as our uh, Phi coprocessor uh, training classes that we have going on. Okay, terrific. So, so what are we looking at here? This looks like a lot of coprocessor in, in one chassis. How many do we got there? It is. We've, you're looking at eight of them here in the PCI Express uh, uh, double white uh, sockets. Uh, yeah. This is in a 4U box, and we've got, uh, this is a standard, uh, uh, well, what we call, uh, refer to it as their Colfax CXP9000 box. It supports uh, two E5 series uh, CPUs, and uh, this is going to be a real, uh, uh, showstopper here. Yeah, that's a lot of compute power. Eight Xeon Phi's in the same chassis with uh, what, four Sandy Bridge sockets, something like that? On the Sandy Bridge sockets, uh, since you're referring them, no, it's going to be two of them. Two physical okay, sockets. Got it, yeah, got it, but still yeah. a lot of power in one small place. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so Mike, I wanted to ask you about the, the training classes, because Xeon Phi is great, but uh, how do people learn how to use it and optimize on it? Well, we've had people working on the uh, the development, the code, and the porting for two and a half years, and we now are ready for sharing some of that technology and that uh, information back to customers and to researchers and to uh, uh, those who want to learn actually how to best optimize uh, parallel programming. So we have three sets of classes. One's going to be a one-day, a three-day, and a five-day. They'll be taught at Colfax International they'll also be taught we can come right to your doorstep. So we can come right out there and all the way up to a five day training class. So you can get these guys up to speed using this stuff, optimizing, running their code, and in that short order, they'll be ready to go? Absolutely, in fact, I want to introduce you to Vadim and he's gonna go over a lot more on that. So Vadim, you know, I, I'm really curious. We're geeks here at SC12. We like yeah, to well. know what's going down down in the weeds with Xeon Phi. You're a PhD and you've been working with the Phi, have you not? Oh, yes. Okay, so so tell me more about the class. What will I learn when I go to these courses uh, on how to use a Phi? Mm -hmm. Okay, so basically we've been among the first guys who got their hands on those Xeon Phi coprocessors. So we had our experience basically programming different academic problems. For example, I was doing my PhD in uh, computational biophysics. Yeah. So I applied uh, all my like problem solving to skills uh, to use those cards and basically solve those problems. During our classes, people will know how to parallel program for this architecture. So we will cover topics, uh, we will cover OpenMP, MPI, uh, and basically like Intel libraries as well. For example, build, thread building blocks, array building blocks, uh, uh, then Silk Plus, and we will go through all the Intel software applications. For example, VTunes can help you visualize all the threads and uh, find the bottlenecks. Other, what about uh, IPAC, for example, Intel Tracer, Tracer Analyzer and Collector. So basically during our classes, we'll go through all those techniques you can apply for optimization, and basically we'll teach our students how to do that the right way. Sure, sure. So they can come away from that class and mm -hmm. be getting good optimized performance out of their code after yep. just a few days? Yes, pretty much, because uh, we design our codes uh, in such a way so that students will have practical experience playing with real code. For example, I'll, I will give you just simple serial code and ask you to parallelize it. Use vectorization and show you how to optimize it the best way. That's how you learn, just from practice. Sure, sure. Okay, okay. And, and when, when, when you're working with the code, you've been, you've been, you know, you've been doing this stuff. You, are, are you seeing the speed ups you expected? Oh. That's actually uh, the real life demo. Right now we're running it on our system and you can see uh, using two Xeon Phi cards versus one yeah. Intel Xeon yeah. CPU, you will get the speed up by the factor of 10. 10x. That's how much you can get out of it. Okay, wow, wow. It's pretty impressive, believe me. For parallel problems, you can uh, just scale it almost linearly. So 
as many CPUs you've got, uh, as many coprocessors you've got, uh, that's the speed up you can get. So, for example, that's comparing two Xeon 5 CPUs versus one Xeon 5 coprocessor, you've got almost six times, that's well, amazing. five times speed up. Yeah, yeah, I mean, because when, when you're using something like, like, like a, uh, um, you know, a Sandy Bridge, there's mm -hmm. already a lot of parallelism in there. There's like eight cores or whatever, yes, right? eight cores. And so they've been, already been doing that with their code, and right. like, so now we're taking it to the next step, aren't they? Yeah, because it's more than 50 cores in Xeon 5 coprocessor, and you use all the parallelism and vectorization, because uh, now they have 512 bits wide uh, vector registers. It's a lot. You can get the speed up by a factor of eight for double precision uh, floats. It's impressive, believe That's me. That's very good. Well, hey.